with Bobby too, and I introduced myself over the phone, and I said, you know, I'm playing in the high school band over here at Eagle Rock, and, and I'd like to come over and take a trumpet lesson. So he said, okay, and he gave me his address, and my father gave me a ride over there. He said, so, you know, tell, tell me something about you. He just wanted to talk initially. He said, are you studying with anybody? He said, yeah, I study with Laroon Holt. And he goes, oh, I know Laroon. Yeah, he plays on the Lawrence Welk Show. And, you know, I think Bobby and Laroon had done a few sessions together or something already, you know. And uh, he says, what's uh, Laroon having you do? And I said, well, you know, he's having me learn to hide in trumpet concerto, and we're working on Bugler's Holiday. You know, all the standard repertoire, the Arben's book, the Clark's book, the so on and so forth. I think it goes the Sigmund Herring series, you know. And Bobby said, great, well, you just keep on studying with Laroon, and here's your first lesson. He said, I'm gonna, I want to teach you how to listen. You can use any kind of recorded material as a learning device. You can take a master class from John Coltrane. You can take a master class from Charlie Parker. You can take a master class from Miles Davis if you know how to listen. And so he said, when you sit down to listen to music, you, you want to see if possibly you can use that recorded material as a learning device. And um, he said, you want to concentrate. You want to shut up put yourself in, into a nice environment that's where you're relaxed, maybe has something to eat so you aren't preoccupied with being hungry, and put the headphones on and listen. Close your eyes and get your horn and finger along while you're listening to that track. And listen maybe to the same track over and over and over and over again and visualize yourself being right there at the venue where this particular recording was made, either in the studio or if it's a live concert in a theater, and get to know that one track so well that you start to hear their clams and visualize yourself playing on that track. And Bobby showed me how to listen to really listen. A lot of times people will buy a new CD and they'll have their friends over and they're all, they'll all talk through it while it's playing and then they'll tell people, yeah, I heard that CD. Well, they didn't really hear that CD. If you want to really listen to a CD, you can learn a lot from it. And he stuck a pair of headphones on me and turned on a Bill Evans record. That was my first lesson. <laughs> 